Hello, we're gonna do a bit of a different video. I'm in the car wash in uh, my wife's car, and uh, I don't know, I'll talk about YouTube a bit and uh, what happened to me during 2000, during 2013. Um, I think I had a bit of a strange year because I had a lot of time away from uh, from the environment. I was off YouTube for about three and a half months. There was an underlying bug on my channel which eventually got uh, fixed. That bug can be seeded back to the 6th of uh, June and it took a long time for me to um, to find a solution there. But um, I think I wasted far too much time on the the forums or the Google groups as they're called now and unfortunately there's uh, some people there, the top contributors, who need to be pulled down a few rungs. The information that they were giving me was totally incorrect. So I think sometimes when you see information on the Google Groups, you've got to take it, um, well, you just got to be very careful what's being said there. Got the big brush um, coming on the car. Just let me shoot some of this, it's so interesting. I can't bring the, the little boy through these. He gets petrified in these car washes. He thinks there's like big monsters. Oh, here they come. I might try and shoot a bit of slow motion. Oh, back to normal video. I was shooting a bit of slow motion. I don't even know. Where's the actual camera? Is it there? Oh, it's there. <laughs> How dumb. I keep looking at the screen and you meant to look down, meant to look straight down the barrel of the camera if you want people to believe what you're saying. Yeah, look, it was a, a bit of a mixed year for me. My channel really, really didn't go anywhere. Uh, having that all that time away from the environment didn't help at all. And unfortunately, I think I've got to start making videos directly aimed at one and two year olds. Uh, making videos for anyone else just doesn't gel anymore. Uh, obviously, don't make, don't go near faking gay stuff anymore. Back in the good old days, my channel became massive because of faking gay videos. Uh, I tell people, listen, they go, oh, you, you're lying, Leo. No, I'm telling you, that's where my channel became big. And the person who got me into that was a YouTuber, Mark Absalon. And he's been a very, long, actually, a very long-term uh, friend of mine on YouTube. Bit of a silent friend there, um, but his channel, he's had a very hard time since that algorithm changed back in, August was it 2011 and there's a lot of channels that have been hammered by the way the algorithm has changed and you know looks at stuff so um, the good old days of having like you know great big giant viral videos um, you know, when I say what I call a popular video is like if you can crack let's say a hundred thousand views in a very short amount of time in a couple of weeks um, and that these days it just doesn't happen for me um, I've, got to, I've got to get into like making stuff for babies I uh, probably said enough, the blow dryer is uh, on the car. Um, this is the new Leo. McDonald's did this to me. Um, 40 kilograms uh, lighter, that's 88 pounds. Um, I'm a totally, totally new me. <laughs> um, very interesting. When my videos come up about my McDonald's diet, uh, where I just ate McDonald's for a month, that's gonna, that's gonna really be hopefully be a very big thing um, and people are going to look at those videos very carefully and say well how did he do this I didn't pay any money to those you know people saying you know lose weight and the whole industry of weight loss is, is fascinating in a sense and when I say industry ka-ching ka-ching um, this is nearly finished I better go I probably yeah, it on far too long anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the car wash remember it's a shot on a iPhone 5s very expensive phone but sort of nice and let's take a sneak peek at my mcdonald's challenge which i shot while my youtube channel was basically broken during 2013 and my little challenge of eating mcdonald's for a month is going to completely blow out of the water what morgan spurlock did when he did his super size me many people cite mcdonald's foods as being a problem and associate it with people who are well overweight well what about if i show you a way to turn mcdonald's into a solution and not the problem my month long of only McDonald's food has completely reformatted the way I see food. In fact, it has changed my life, and to be honest here, it has saved my life. Hey, what can I do for you? Could I please have a medium sized Big Mac meal? Yep. And with a Coke, Coke as a drink, please? Yeah, that's right. How much is that? 
uh, 825. Thank you. Wanna have a cheeseburger for Dolphin? Dolphin What was that? Did you want a cheeseburger for Dolphin? A cheeseburger? Yeah. For $1.50? Yeah. Instead of two thirty normal price. Instead of two fifty on special. Okay, so the extra offer is a cheeseburger, is it? Yeah, the offer is a cheeseburger for $1.50. Instead of two thirty, the original price. Okay, I'll take that offer up. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Um, 975 then, Nine seventy five. Nine seventy five. Okay. Yep. Well, there you go. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video, and uh, I know what goes on here. Very interesting. So I ordered the Big Mac meal, medium size, with a coke, and I've been upsold a cheeseburger. I've taken it on. Go. Hello. How are you? Good. Thanks. Oh, yummy. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thanks. I'll try. <laughs> Little does he know, I'm in for a month of pain. <laughs> me, let me have a bite of this, I need, I need a chew. Mmm. Mmm. I'm loving it. Mm. Got a serviette down here. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Leo, why are you making this video? Well, there's a couple of reasons why, and I'll tell you one of the first ones in this video. I was down at the McDonald's one time, eating what I normally eat, which is some sort of hamburger meal, fries. And across from me in the same table was a lady eating one of the salads from McDonald's. And it's funny, you rarely ever see people eating the salads. And I actually watched her, and she took a long time to go through the salad. Not only, not only that, she looked, it looked like she loved it. And it, it had me quite curious. I'm thinking, wow. It, um, I have to try one of them and a few weeks later I did end up having, I ate one, I think it was the one with the chicken strips on top. It's actually quite large, it's got rocket in it, those little tomatoes which are very nice. And I actually had it, I thought wow this is actually not too bad. And that was actually months ago and I was, this video is like delayed months and months and months. Um, and I thought wow I'm going to try and, that was part of the thing about setting myself a challenge to, to see if I can eat McDonald's for a month and be it a good thing. Well there's the original packaging. And of course, I got it blended up and it got poured into a bowl. All that happened yesterday, and there it is today. It really hasn't fallen apart, it's still got its same consistency. Look at that medium sized Big Mac meal on a stick. If you marketed it correctly, you could probably sell it. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the most important part don't forget that clown. We're going to put an X on him because we're getting into another day. Where will I slide the X on today? That's what about one here, just sort of an armpit X. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mate, you're gonna get busted. Yeah! <laughs> oh, how am I gonna survive this? The person next to me thinks I'm totally nuts. <laughs> It's alright, you'll see it on YouTube at some time, I think. <laughs> so there you go, here's Leo of today, after his McDonald's challenge, and let's flip back to Leo at the start of his McDonald's challenge. This is going to send shockwaves through the diet industry, through the fast food industry, and hopefully help a whole bunch of people out there lose some weight.